Hey you guys, Sam Marie. What is it, Galaxy? <sighs> so I was trying to do like a little demonstration here with energy and da da da, but I mean I tried to record it seven times and it just wasn't successful. Uh, well, I shouldn't say it wasn't successful. It just didn't pan out the way I wanted. Hold on one second. That is simply spring water, fresh lemon and lime, slices in there, and I squeezed some in there as well, and I put some Himalayan sea salt, some honey, cinnamon, and little other little uh, seasonings that I use, but just got a message to do that, to op open up my throat chakra, so. Um, so let's pull some cards. Let's start with, of course, the water. The water oracle. I've been wanting this oracle. I'm the divine, divine, protect no weapon against me shall prosper. That's wet anyway from me spilling my drink. My water drink. Okay. Sorry if it's loud. Yeah. Three's the magic number. Just be on the safe side. Why struggle? You know, just get the glasses. 32, which would be five. Mother of the ocean. Seals. You know, I was going to say, it looks like your inner child work. And it says, inner child healing. I go within to feel whole. I'm not playing. Ouch, my elbow. I can't. <laughs> Look at that. It's time for you to heal him or her. Goddess of the gun. God number 15, which would be six. Goddess Ganja. Purification. I surrender to the river of love. Yeah. Water. Mm. Obviously, because, you know, everything's in water. 43, Blue Tara. <laughs> Preservation. I overcome all obstacles. My hair, I don't know what's going on. Uh, look at her. Sorry, I don't. I'm, I'm not sorry. I'm just. It's always something. Wow. <laughs> so my face is still sore from falling. Look at her. Look at her dagger. She ain't playing. Look at her. Oh, you got it. I don't know if you guys saw. I'm not trying to. Look at her. She's not playing. The look in her eyes. It's like she's seen a thing or two. Like she. You could tell that. There's love and compassion all there. But willing to fight and preserve that piece of you that hasn't been. Taken. Traumatized. Vandalized. That's why spirits want you to really do some inner child. To ask him or her. What she wants. What is it? What do you need to feel safe and secure? Because it changes. And so it's always important to check in with your young young self. What can I do in this situation to make you feel safe? And really listen. And this becomes easier and easier. And a lot of people have asked me, well, how do you know if it's your inner child talking or whatever? And that's why I kind of go back to the basics that's why it's important to be open to wonder to play to whatever that whatever that pure honest um 
without ill intention activity that is that opens up your heart space to be free like a child where there's no judgments you know and just freedom to play and to imagine and wonder it takes that peace that's a part of the peace of saging of the soul that wonder because you know it's 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 not simplifying or um, uh, pacifying our inner child. But as we know, with children, especially wounded children, let's play first. You know, it's kind of like, let's play first and have joy and all that. Um, and then work on some healing. Because when you have joy and all that, then you'll then discover that you're becoming more safe for this child to work on that healing. Because you were safe to play, you started to have that wonder and play again so you you built trust with your inner child by doing that by honoring that inner child and playing and all that i know i'm being redundant but i really this is how you do it this is good a good start for some people if you choose and the more you're open to that wonder the more open and uh, uh formidable not it's not formidable but uh, mutable mutable i can't think of the word it's i see it in my head it's the thing is I get these downloads, but I can't um, verbalize them sometimes. It's not can't, it's just translation is lost. Um, look at her, she's safe. She's safe with the seals. She's like, she's, I just feel it. Because she's played with the seals. Well, I'm, I'm not going to make a funny undertone to this. This is serious. Like, And so... She'll trust you to do that healing work to open up so you can really start to heal those parts of your childhood that still affect you and in different areas of your life. Hold on. That must be a sign to take a little break. Yeah. And while you're working on these inner child things and these wounds, um, it's really important to continue to cleanse that energy and to release that. Like I went to the Reiki, I went to the Magical Druid yesterday and had another session. And it's my second time I've been with that gentleman there. And it, it was amazing to have that healing. I, I, you know, I really found something in a practitioner, in an area, in a business that really... Um, they're just helpful in all ways. I'll just say that. I've already made a video about them. I won't go into detail. But they're a, a magical place. I mean, everybody there has really been beneficial and helped me. Um, and it, it's come from a good place. So anyway. And so it's important, however, you need to purify as you um, start to, you know, say play with yourself. But, you know, you're, you develop a relationship, a therapeutic relationship, first of all, with your child by playing in a friendly relationship, you know. But anyway, start playing. Um, we talked about that. <sighs> the point being, it is a galaxy. Do you see him? Look at it. If, you, if, if, I'm going to say if you don't do this, because it's not hell and damnation, by, but by not working on your inner child stuff, healing that stuff. Because it's showing up in all kinds of ways in your life right now, whether you are um, aware of it or not aware of it, or whether you want to admit it or not. There's always chaos and drama around you. People are always like, there's, you know, and it's not those of us who are like true scapegoats and black sheep of the family. People try to make light of that, like black sheep and all that, like true scapegoats. Um, first of all, um, and nobody would ever make fun of someone like that. But anyway... By not healing a lot of these things, you're, there's this, it's like, what are you fighting for? It's like you're really trying to preserve yourself. Maybe it's your integrity. Maybe it's your pride. Maybe it's your your ego. Oh, that's what's getting in the way of you doing this inner child stuff. Spirit is calling you as a reminder to 
look at all of the things that you have been through. It's like you wear a badge of honor. She has the war pan on her face, but it's like her dagger has different stones in it. Probably can't see it. I didn't mean to flick you off. <laughs> so yeah, different stones. Maybe each one of them represent a different accomplishment. Not killings, but different accomplishments. And these accomplishments are empathy, healing mother wounds, father wounds, uh, childhood wounds, abandonment wounds. Maybe each one of these, that's what each one of these stones represent. Yeah, I hope this message has helped somebody. It's already at uh, over 10 minutes. So anyway, I hope that you're healthy, happy, full of joy. May you love and be loved. Heal so you don't harm. Happy Sunday.